oh shit, uh, <laughs> Blizzard has gone and finally done something that I've been asking for for a very long time and uh, added in some more prestigious rewards for Mythic Plus. So as of approximately seven minutes ago at time of recording, there was a post on Wowhead um, that ha has something that's very interesting that's been data mined. And the title of this is Tormented Hero Title Awarded to the Top 0.1% of Mythic Plus Players in Patch 9.1.5. And so um, there is a new Tormented Hero achievement and title which will be awarded to the top 0.1% of Mythic Plus players on each faction. This gives an incentive for Mythic Plus players to show off their mastery with an achievement and title similar to the Gladiator titles from PvP. And um, the actual text on the data mining says, In Shadowlands Mythic Plus Season 2 with a Mythic Plus rating in the top 0.1% of your faction. So this is just something that I've been like really looking forward to for a long time. It's just like prestigious rewards from Mythic Plus. At the same time, so, so on the, on the positive end, um, this is a very cool thing. This could set them up to create just uh, Mythic Plus specific mounts in a different way. Obviously, we have like the Keystone Masters mount, but that's not exactly uh, the most prestigious thing. There are, for PvP specific stuff, there are similar systems where um, for Gladiator, you get a mount, but at the same time, there are like some very PvP specific ones like the Kodo and all this other stuff. So, it's going to be interesting to see if they go in a different direction and also add a, potentially a different mount to this, or, or if it's just going to be this, this prestigious title. I think that this is very cool that, it, that they are doing something like this. On the downside, and, and a comment that I had present, and a counterpoint that I had presented to me at one point, which I... Well, I'm just going to present it anyways. So the downside is that it's going to make you feel like you have to always be pushing um, score and playing for score at any given moment as opposed to uh, trying to play with your friends and doing keys for fun. And instead, you're going to be always trying to do keys for uh, score. So there, there definitely is some level of things that could be lost as opposed to trying to just play for fun. You're always trying to play for score and you're really worried and worked up about that kind of thing. And if, if it was lost, like the ability to play for fun, I feel like that would be um, very unfortunate. But at the same time, I do think that having some reward structure for groups that are overachieving and giving some, honestly, just in-game goal to groups that are uh, the top 0.1% of your faction, that's actually a very important thing. The top 1.1% of Mythic Plus players, it really just depends on how they're scoring it, but that should honestly be a pretty hot, like, there should be a lot of people who probably fall in the top 0.1%, um, just in, depending on how many people they are actually scoring. Are they... Is it top 0.1% of people who are doing all keys? Is it top 0.1% of people who have keys to masters? Is it top 0.1% of people who have done a 15? So this, this could be upwards of like, there was something like 2 million characters or something um, for last season who had done Mythic Plus. That, that is a lot of people who have done one singular dungeon. So the top 0.1% of that would be an astronomical amount. It would be, it, it wouldn't, it would be something where like, uh, basically anybody who's done like all 17s probably would end up getting this title. At the same time, I do suspect that there's going to be something that there's going to be a cutoff. Maybe it's like, it starts at like people who've done 15, all 15s or something like that. But at the same time though, I wonder what the reward structure is going to be moving forward. If this is where they're going to end on it even, but I think all in all, this is absolutely a great change and on, honestly something that is good for Mythic Plus players as a whole. And with that said, those are my thoughts. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. If you guys have any takes on this, do you guys think that this is very good for Mythic Plus moving forward? Do you think that this could uh, make groups lose, lose some of their pushing for fun in, in contest of like, you have to always be playing for score? Or do you think that this is just going to be a good thing as a whole? Because for me personally, I think this is sick. I, at the same time, I'm a player that this impacts almost directly. And so... It's definitely uh, something that you should be looking out for. In the meantime, hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.